From a distance, it may appear that farmers of mature village could not have asked for anything better. The village lies in the fringe areas of Nagarhole National Park in DB Kupe Gram Panchayat in HD Kote Taluka of Mysore District, Karnataka, India. The inhabitants are mostly tribal people belonging to Beda tribe. The village has the Kabini River on its eastern side. Heavy rainfalls both during the southwest and northeast monsoons, bright sunshine around the year and soil rich with forest humus could have made it a dream place for the farmers. But for them, it was all the proverbial gap between the cup and the lips. If one year the monsoon fails, they run the risk of losing the crop and buffer food stock for their family. Thanks to the perennial power problems, the river water cannot be pumped in to save the standing crops. Cultivating anything during other time was impossible for them. The small land holdings and mutual animosity between them made it impossible to reduce the rising cost of modern agriculture with so much stress on mechanized tilling, imported seeds, chemical fertilizers and poisonous insecticides. To add to their woes, persistent attack from the wild animals like elephants, deers and wild boars, the standing crops get wiped out or night. Night vigils during agricultural season have not helped to prevent the animals venturing into their land in search of food. And finally, when the crop is harvested and taken to the market, the middlemen ensure that they get just the invested capital back and virtually nothing extra for the year-long hard work. No wonder they were a reluctant lot about farming. Yet, despite the odd heavily stacked against them, they continued their ways of doing agriculture, waiting for some miracles to take place. They were not ready to change their way of thinking or doing things differently. It was a risk they can take only at the cost of food security for their family. Therefore, when the idea of organic farming was initially mooted by Gramothan Foundation Bangalore, not much interest was shown by the farmers, though they were very keen listeners. To bring the farmers around, there was only one option. Shaw cause a model that integrates organic farming with cooperative spirit. Prolonged discussions were held with the farmers to reach a meeting point and when the issue of a regular monthly income for them was settled, farmers like N. Nanja Gauda, Chikke Venkata Gauda, M. N. Nanja Gauda, H. B. Venkata Gauda and six others came forward to lend their lands for the organic cultivation. The total area was around 18 acres and the lands were all adjacent ones. They soon formed a farmers group to give a legal status to their association. Kramutan Foundation chipped in with repairing and refurbishing a dilapidated building nearby. Works like erecting a solar fence around the 18 acres of land, tilling it, applying organic compost, etc. were completed by April 2012. Then started their wait for the southwestern monsoon to set in. Unfortunately, it not only delayed but failed to a large extent. Despite that, when the monsoon finally came, agricultural activities were started in the right spirit. And the first year itself, Optimum use of the land was achieved. A major portion of the land was earmarked for rice and ragi cultivation. Both the conventional and scientific methods were used. The system of rice intensification or SRI and Salgaunkar methods were a few of them where the number of seedlings and amount of water required will be very less compared to the conventional method. Vegetables like brinjal, Beans, mooli, chilli, lady fingers, tomato, potato, onions, oil seeds plant like sunflower, pulse, banana, etc. were cultivated. Despite not applying any chemical fertilizer or insecticides, most of the crops were good.
On the other side, all the ten farmers were more or less convinced of the benefits of organic cultivation and cooperative farming. Demand for organic compost in the model farm has helped to create employment opportunities in areas like vermi compost, ketanyantra, etc. in the villages. Organizations like Vainada Vanamulika Samrakshana Sangam and Organic Vainad from Kerala are helping Gramothan Foundation to get the land certified for organic cultivation. These organizations have expressed their interest to have buyback arrangement for the agricultural produce from the fields. In the meantime, the model farm is spreading the message of organic cultivation loud and clear. Within three months of starting it, there are more than 10 farmers group waiting in the wings to venture into organic cultivation in mature and neighboring villages alone.